Hey everyone, so I had a few requests to show how I was able to take a 4x6 canvas and print two 3x4 photos with white borders when I showed my Persnickety Prints order last week. So I co go into Photoshop Elements and I'm going to open a canvas and you can't see it on here, but I click File and then New Canvas and I type in 4x6 and then it will pop up in just a second. Um, let's see. Okay, there we go. So now I have a four by six canvas and now my trick is to add guides. That's what I'm going to do. So my first guide is going to be at the exact halfway point, which is, um, three inches. Then I will do a quarter inch in, which is 0 0.25 on the far left. And then I will add two and a half to that. And that would make um, oh my goodness, 2.75 for the next guide. And then those two guides right there are where the first photo is going to go. And now I'm going to make my guides for the right side. I'm going to make one at 3.25, which is what you see that just popped up. And then I will add two and a half to that one. And I will put another one at 5.75. So then I will have guides for the right side as well. I also want to just clarify that the reason that I'm adding two and a half inches is because I crop my photos at two and a half width and three and a half height. So the two and a half is what I need to add because that's um, the size of my image. So once again, I'm putting in my last guide, which will go at the end, which is 5.75. And that should pop up in just a second. All right, there it is. So now I have all my guides. So now I can go in and edit my photos and crop them and then add them to this canvas. And then I will show you how I, I will also tell you how I'm label my photos. All right, so the first photo pulled in, and with the way that this um, recording works is that the Windows folder is not shown. But I pulled up this photo out of my favorites folder, and I'm going to, as you can see up there, I'm gonna crop it to two and a half by three and a half, and it pulls up a grid, so that way I can see and kind of get my son's image centered. And then I will usually um, do some brightness and contrast. I will do that in just a second. Now I'm gonna crop my second image and it is of my daughter. And as you can see, I did a little bit of brightness. I always do just a smidge of brightness and contrast. I always edit my photos in PicTap Go. I have some recipes that I've used over the years and I stick with those but I do do like a little bit of brightness, which you can find in Enhance, and you scroll down and you click Brightness and Contrast. And I only bump it up 15 and um, 15 for brightness and 10 for contrast. Now I'm putting the photos right where those guides are. You see how those guides are right there? It makes it so easy to just fit the photos right in those guides, and that way when I cut my photos, which you'll see later on, it's perfect. It's not, it still has the, the white borders and they're even. It's not unevenly spaced. So that's pretty much what I do when I'm doing my photos. I just use these guides and make a canvas and then I will save my photos as the year and the month and favorites zero one. And I will just carry that on until I finish saving all the photos for that particular month. And then I can upload them to Persnickety and send them off to be printed. So I hope this helps you and I will be back to show you the photos, some photos printed out and cut. Okay, so now I have a batch of photos that I have printed. These are March and I've taken my four by six canvas. I've used the guides and the photos turned out great. I just cut them down that three inch mark and I have photos with a quarter inch border on the left and the right and it turns out great. I really love it and it works so easily for me to um, make my photos with white borders. It just works. Um, 
So yeah, I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helps you out to make white borders and I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.